Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The picture shown on screen is of the initial screen view when you enter Expert Edit Mode. If you are used to a typical Windows environment, you will have some familiar tools available to you. First, you should acquaint yourself with the names and locations of the tools, panels, and other objects in the environment. Then you can investigate the functions of the various tools, panels, and objects within the environment. At the top of the program window is the menu bar. At the right end of the menu bar are three buttons that let you control the size and shape of the application window. Minimize, Maximize or Restore, and Close. These buttons control the size of the entire application window, not the size of the image file upon which you happen to be working. You can also access these same commands by using the System Menu button at the opposite or left end of the menu bar. To do this, click the button and then make a selection from the drop-down menu that appears. The menu bar contains commands grouped by category for performing tasks in Expert Edit Mode. For example, the File command contains all the available commands for file management. You can click one of the commands in the menu bar to display a drop-down menu of the available subcommands. You can then click the subcommand you want to perform. Subcommands followed by a right pointing arrow indicate that you must make a selection from a side menu that appears when you roll your mouse pointer over that subcommand. Subcommands followed by an ellipsis mark indicate subcommands that when clicked will open a dialog box into which you must input additional information or make a selection. For example, if you selected File, then Open from the menu bar, you will be presented with the Open dialog box where you can then select a file to open for editing. In the dialog boxes that appear, you can click the Cancel button or press the Escape key on your keyboard to cancel the dialog box without making a choice. If you are interested in simply becoming a faster user of the Elements program, it will help you to memorize the keyboard shortcuts that are available for the various subcommands in the menu bar. Using the menu bar when you are first learning the program will also allow you to view the various keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts are listed to the right of the various subcommands within the menu bar's drop-down menu. For example, to view the Open dialog box again, you can press the Control key on your keyboard and then tap the O key on your keyboard to use the keyboard shortcut. You can see the keyboard shortcut of Control plus O appear to the right of the Open subcommand in the File menu bar commands drop down menu. Below the menu bar is the Shortcuts bar. You can use the Open drop-down at the far left end of the Shortcuts bar to open images that have been recently opened and create new files. In the middle of the Shortcuts bar are the Edit Mode buttons that you can use to switch edit modes. At the far right end of the Shortcuts bar are the Create and Share drop-down buttons that let you create and share calendars, collages, and more. Below the Shortcuts bar is the Image window. This is the main workspace of the Photoshop Elements program. The various images you open and create will display themselves here within their own window. At the very top of the image window, you can see tabs that represent the various open images. You can switch between images in this window by clicking the corresponding tabs. Below the image window is the status bar, which displays information about the current image shown. Below the status bar is the tool options bar or photo bin. Here you can set the options for the various tools that you select from the toolbox or view opened photos in the photo bin. This area is constantly changing depending on which tool is selected in the toolbox and which button is selected in the taskbar. So as you learn how to use these tools, check here to set additional options for the selected tools. You use the various toolbars and panels to edit the images shown. The main toolbar you use to select image editing tools is the toolbox. You can use the toolbox to select various tools that help you in selecting and editing images. You can click a button in the toolbox to activate the selected tool. Some buttons have small triangles in their upper right corners that become visible when you hover over them. The triangle means that the button represents two or more tools with similar functionality. For example, you can click the Healing Brush tool in the toolbox and then look in the Tool Options bar to see that there are two different tools available, the Healing Brush and the Spot Healing Brush. Select the tool to use at that time by clicking the corresponding button in the Tool Options bar. After that, the tool you selected will be the default tool displayed in the toolbox for that button.
You should familiarize yourself with the names and locations of the tools so you can find them later. You can hold your mouse pointer over any button in the toolbox to view its name in a screen tip, which is the small box that appears. The screen tip will also show the keyboard shortcut you can press to select the toolbox button. You can toggle the display of the toolbox on and off by selecting Window, Tools from the menu bar to check or uncheck that command. In the toolbox you have the Zoom tool, the Hand tool, the Move tool, the Marquee tools, the Lasso tools, the Quick Selection, Selection Brush, Magic Wand, Refine Selection Brush, and Auto Selection tools, the Red Eye Removal tool, the Healing Brush or Spot Healing Brush tool, the Smart Brush tools, the Clone Stamp or Pattern Stamp tools, the Blur, Sharpen, and Smudge tools, the Sponge, Dodge, and Burn tools, the Brush, Impressionist Brush, and Color Replacement tools, the Eraser tools, the Paint Bucket, the Gradient Tool, the Color Picker, the Shape Tools, the Type or Text Tools, the Pencil Tool, the Crop, Cookie Cutter, or Perspective Crop Tools, the Recompose Tool, the Content Aware Move Tool, the Straighten Tool, and the Foreground and Background Color Selector. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free